Welcome back to the Spencer Peacock Racing YouTube channel. Today I have just arrived at Rice Lip Tires in Rice Lip, um, owned by a friend of ours, um, also a supporter of the series uh, Formula G. Um, everybody uses Rich down here at Rice Lip. Um, so today I've got some new wheels and tires I'm going to be fitting. Uh, we're going to jump on the Hunter system and get a good alignment. And uh, I think Craigie and Mantas are also popping down as well. Two other drivers in the series. Obviously, Mantas is Jim Connor Grid World Champ. Um, and I think Craigie's got a little bit of a MX5 off road going on. So we'll see what goes on there. Um, just waiting to get in because I'm obviously in the truck. It's a bit busy in there at the moment on a busy Saturday afternoon. So give it a couple of minutes and I'll be inside and do some. Uh, we'll have some fun. So I arrived. We just got Rich and his crew uh, fitting a new Toyo R Triple Eight R's that we're going to be running onto my new JR Eight JR JR Nineteen wheels, I believe. Uh, so the boys are hooking me up here. Craigie also here is uh, commencing the project MX High. Uh, he's going to go for an off-road lift kit for this, and it is going to be mad. So we'll probably have a play with this again today, as well as. The MX5, the race car, all aligned. Get that all properly sorted for the season. Season starts next weekend on the 1st of March, I believe, uh, for the test day. So, yeah, old trustee's going to get the alignment properly today. Cheers, Rice Lip. It's finally up on the ramp. Rich is loving life. <laughs> um, getting everything in the green it's all been crazy crazy out just because I've fitted some new suspension components over the off season so Rich is having the time of his life he's loving it um, everything's really tight isn't it yes no, no. <laughs> there's a few things I didn't do up and uh, some things that I thought were tight and they weren't tight so not the greatest but that's what Rich is for um, so we're going to Get everything done, rear's all in the green exactly where we want it, and now just playing around with the front because that was crazy out from when I fit the lower control arms from Destroy or Die. Um, didn't even bother trying to do anything with that, so just getting everything sorted now, and we'll show you a before and after printout later on. Car's all done, nice bit of positive on the back. Hey! hey. Pay the bill, and then home time. Okay, so we're back at the workshop now, and um. You can see, got a fair bit of uh, rear poke just here. Uh, but I've obviously checked before I did this with the head scooter near and made sure everything was legal for the series, which it is. So ecstatic about that. But you can see how fat those rear tires are. Um, so I had to do a little bit of body modification on these over fenders and I've also soldered them up, uh, but still mesh behind them um, just to give it some extra support in case I do get some body roll and it does touch the tire or we are on a really bumpy track, but you can see there's a there's a bit of room there for it out to squat under acceleration. Um, so now we're back. You can see how it was all out before. Um, see the, the steer ahead and the thrust angle uh, is massively changed. Um, that's what we kind of spent a lot of time on and got everything as uh, equal as we uh, possibly can. I've always had an issue on my right front camber uh, it's always a little bit more negative for some reason. Not 100% sure on that. And the same with the uh, the caster on the near side front. But it's an old car, so without completely changing to a brand new subframe, etc., etc., I don't think I'm going to get much more perfect than that. But overall, I'm really happy of how uh, Richard managed to get the, the car set up. So test days this weekend. So I'm going to be trying out the RAAA R's. Just dug out some of my uh, Rain Sport 3s. And I've currently got some Max Sport RB5s on the front, which are punctured. So I don't really know what happened to those, but looks like I'm going to be going back to Rich and uh, get some more. So yeah, massive thank you to Rice Slip Tyres um, for spending hours on the car, getting it perfect. Those guys don't mess around. They want to make sure every one of their customers leave that workshop. Super, super happy. Bigger smile than they went in with. So thank you to the boys and girls there. Uh, really, really appreciate your help and support um, and hooking us up with some new more wheels and tyres, which are going to be coming soon. So again, massive thank you to those boys and uh, have a look at their Instagram, their Facebook, at Rice Lip Tyres. Um, you know me, I only use the best in the game. 
Destroyer Die Suspension Meister R, EBC Brakes, Hail Performance, Mishimoto, Funk Motorsport, and uh, yeah, that really covers the the car um, part, essentially. But yeah, these guys are fantastic, and it's a pleasure to work with you. So thank you all, and I shall see you on test day.